Welcome to my JK Solutions channel. This video is all about how to calculate both line and uh, phase current of a transformer given a particular transformer load. So, uh, before we move on, please, if you are new on this channel, please do subscribe to my JK Solutions channel. Thank you. Now, for the purpose of understanding, let us make use of two examples to illustrate the concept of the calculation of uh, transformer line and phase current, as uh, we've been saying. So let's go. Examples. The first one, example one, a 450 kVA total load is equally split on the three phases on the secondary side of a delta star delta star 50x 11 kV slash 400 volt 500 kVA transformer All right. now the question calculates both the line and phase current on both sides of the transformer B part Calculate the maximum line and phase current on both sides of the transformer. The second question, given that the phase load on the secondary side of the transformer in question 1, this 500 kVA, are as follows. Red phase 150 kVA, yellow phase 140 kVA, blue phase 145 kVA. Now the question. A part calculate the transformer line and phase current on both sides of the transformer. Moving on, it is part of the question that uh, the losses in the transformer should be neglected. All right, so neglect transformer losses. Now we have solution to a part. The transformer rating is 500 kV and the load given. Is 450 kV. So we start with the second side. This uh, second side. In this uh, situation, we have uh, this, this is the neutral. Uh, the phase voltage is from here to here. And this is the line current. The line current is always equal to the phase current. All right? But, and in this case, the phase voltage is the same thing as uh, the line voltage. So that is the situation. So we come here, second side, which is this side. So the apparent power S, this uh, 450 kVA is apparent power. So and uh, is given by root 3 times uh, line voltage, then multiplied by line current. So from there, 450 is equal to this, and that is is equal to 682.4 IL. So, where IL is the line current and VL is the line voltage. So from there, uh, we, we get uh, 650 amp triple phase with neutral as the answer for that. So the line current, this line current which is equal to the Phase current is equal to 650 ampere. We have the neutral there, though in this situation where we have a, a balanced load, which is, since the load is, is equally split on the three phases, we have a, a balanced load. If we calculate the neutral current, is going to be zero. But what we the uh, meaning of this end is that. We are dealing with three phase, one, two, three. And we see half uh, the neutral line as well. So that is that. Then the I phase are just as I said for star connection. I phase is equal to I line, which is this. So we will come to the primary side. The primary on the primary side here, the line voltage is eleven kV which is 11,000, so we just substitute it in, 
and then from there the eye line is equal to 24 arm uh, triple face yeah eye line is equal to 24 arm triple face we have this face red face yellow face and the blue face we have three faces triple face but there is no neutral so that's why i'm not including n here so if the line current is 24 ampere from this uh, formula the line quantity here or i line is equal to root 3 times uh, high phase from there we have it, have it that i phase or phase current is equal to line current divided by root 3 and that is a uh, uh, what i have done here and the answer is 14 arm tp 14 arm triple phase so that is the answer 14 ampere triple phase now moving on 1b that is the solution to 1b to calculate the maximum phase current, the maximum line current on both sides of the transformer. It is done as follows. Now, the maximum uh, load that uh, the transformer can take care of, that can handle, the maximum load the transformer can handle is 500 kVA since it's the rating of the transformer. So we use that uh, 500 kVA, that is 500,000 VA in our calculation. Thus, we now have for the secondary side, maximum load is equal to transformer rating, which is equal to this 500 kVA. Maximum secondary current, I line maximum, that is the maximum line current. We are dealing with the secondary side first. Which is, and that is equal to 500,000 VA divided by root 3 here uh, multiplied by 400 volts from this formula. We can have I is equal to S divided by root 3 times uh, the line footage. And that is what I have done here. So the answer is 722 ampere triple phase with neutral so that is what we are talking about that is the the, the line voltage is from here to here but we are talking of the line current this current the current flowing into the load from the transformer widely all right so that is the answer to that so and uh, for star connection I line is equal to I phase. So the line current we calculate on this side is the same thing as uh, the phase uh, current. So I phase mass is equal to I line mass. That is uh, for star. And so they are, they are same. All right. We now come to the primary side where the Footage, the supply footage is 11 kV, that is 11,000. So we now substitute 11,000 into the formula and we come up with a high, high line mass, that is the line current being 26 ampere triple phase. There is no neutral there. So we are now talking of uh, for data. For this uh, connection, data connection, we have it this way. For data connection, the line uh, or the phase current will be equal to uh, line current divided by root 3. And that is what uh, is done here. And the answer is 15 ampere. Now, moving on. The second question, we have a situation where the load is not a balanced one. 
we have uh, different magnitudes of loads on the three phases. Red phase, 150 kBa. Um, yellow phase, 140. This is yellow phase, 140. And the uh, blue phase, 145. Then how do we calculate the, the current? So for the red phase, we we, we calculate it as 150,000 Va divided by 230.3 and 650 Ampere. So the line current for star connection, the line current is always equal to the phase current. All right, that's it. Then yellow phase 140,000 Va divided by 230.3. The answer is 606. And then the line current is also the same as the uh, phase current, which is also 606 ampere. Then for blue phase, similarly, 145,000 VA divided by 230.93, and the answer is 628. So which is same, uh, is same as uh, the line current. The line current is equal is always equal to the phase current when we have star connection like this. All right, that's it. And the final part of the question: the one one has to multiply the is power, which is the the one on the red phase, by three, just as I mentioned in one of my previous uh, videos. So you multiply the highest by three, we have 450 to, to obtain the power on the primary side of the transformer. So applying that, three times 150, which is 450,000 VA. All right. So uh, from there, we calculate the line current to be 24 ampere TP for this one. Because it's 11 kb that we have there and then in the uh, i mean custom i mean in the usual manner the phase current is 24 ampere divided by root 3 which is 14 ampere tp and that is the solution to the last part of the question finally it is believed that uh, uh, the video is found useful and if that is correct or if it is so please do subscribe to my jk solutions channel thanks for watching